Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit Architecture 2024 for beginners. I am Architect Sonurai from Gladys Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you navigation tools in Revit. So how to use navigation tool before starting a project. So if you will see this uh, plan view, we are in floor plan view. This is project browser. In the last video tutorial, I taught you about project browser and properties. So you can follow my previous tutorial. And if you look at this uh, project browser, we can see these floor plans and under floor plans, there are level one, level two, level three, level four, and so on. So whatever levels you will create in Revit, this will reflect here. And you can also see many things here like floor plans, uh, selling plans 3d views elevations sections renderings walkthroughs everything you can see in this uh, sample file so, so this is a sample file so you can uh, use this as a tutorial so you can see hey this is project browser and there are various things and if you look at this plan here you can see this is called navigation tools and this term name is steering wheel you can see this is 2d and uh, you can navigate your drawing you can see this if i'm clicking this here this one is our steering wheel so you can rewind your project you can pan use this as pan suppose i'm bringing my mouse here and i'm clicking on pan so i can pan this and we can move this and if you uh, click on this zoom you can zoom your drawing so you can zoom in and zoom out so this is handy tool and you can also rewind you can rewind your drawings and you can see your previous uh, steps here by using rewind so this is steering wheel and al also you can uh, use this arrow here you can see uh, there is 2d wheel and uh, you can also click this arrow this is a lens here you can zoom in reason and if you uh, click zoom out so this will be zoomed out 2x so two times zoom to fit you can select zoom to fit and you can also click this arrow zoom all to fit so whatever uh, drawings will be here it, this will be zoom all to fit and you can use zoom seat size also and this is uh, zoom to your seat size so whatever seat size you have selected this will be zoomed out to according to your seat size and you can uh, use this previous pan or zoom so you can use this steering wheel so this is known as steering wheel so uh, you can see this cross sign here so suppose by mistake you can cross this and uh, uh, you can use this with steering wheel also if you uh, by mistake if you cross this also this will disappear from your um, viewport so how to bring this so you can go to your view tab here and you can look for user interface you can click this arrow and you can see this uh, term here navigation bar so this is unchecked so if you will cross this this will be unchecked from here so you can put a tick mark here and your steering wheel is back so you can find this steering wheel in your 3d views also you can see this is your steering wheel and you can work here also by using this and you can uh, use this also this is called view cube so view cube is available in your 3d view like other softwares so you can use this view cube also or you can uh, use shift and you can use your um, uh, middle uh, mouse to uh, rotate this model here so you can use a scroll and uh, rotate your model by pressing shift or you can use this also view cube and you can view your drawing here so suppose if i am clicking on this right here we will uh, go to your right side view and you can use this arrow so this will be back side again you can press this arrow this will be left and this one is front and you can also drag this like this and you can press your top so you will get top view and again you can uh, by pressing left mouse can move this and bring to some angle and you can also press on this s south directions this will give you south view 
and if you click on your waist this will give you a waist view and you can uh, press other direction also i can see this icon here if you if i am bringing my mouse here you can see this is called home tab so this will take you to your previous position of your model and you can uh, find this here so you can go to your initial stage and if uh, if you want to turn this on and off uh, sometimes it will be missing from your viewport and you can find this going to your file tab and you can go to your options here and you can look uh, this one uh, i will tell you a view cube you can go to this view cube and you can see this view cube appearance so you can uh, see this uh, uh, button here this is tick mark here and so the v cube so if i am going to uncheck this and i am going to click ok this v cube will be disappeared so again i am going to options and i am going to view cube and i am going to use this so the view cube so so in all 3d views ok on a screen position top right you can leave these settings as a default and you can also find this steering wheel here so you can use this also so v cube and steering wheel you can find here and you can find uh, navigation tools in view tab going to user interface and you can also use this term here view cube you can also check this view cube from here also so this will be uh, on and off from your user interface view cube and navigation bar so you can use uh, these two from here also and you can go to file and options and you can check this box here view view and uncheck this also so this was the tutorial about the navigation tools and in the next tutorial i will come with some more interesting topics in revit architecture for beginners so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye